Welcome back guys to Dude Ranch DIY. Jake and Sarah here. And today we are doing a little fall lawn care. Um, we just got back from Home Depot and we bought a lawn winterizer and three bags of contractor grade lawn seed. So we're gonna be doing a little overseeding today and a little aerating. Um, but before we get to that stuff, we have to blow the leaves off of the lawn. They've already started to fall here in southwestern Connecticut. Um, I already dethatched um, during the week after work. I didn't film that because it's pretty boring, but I have a dethatcher that mounts on the front of the Kubota zero turn mower. Made it really easy. Blew off all that stuff, but since then, more leaves have fallen. So, uh, there's Bill Jr. Um, we're gonna blow off the leaves. Now, you might be able to see here, I have uh, kind of modified, done a little little modification here to my little wonder uh, push blower. And because our whole front lawn is on such a steep hill, I modified it to fit on the quick hitch, the big tool rack quick hitch. Um, it was pretty easy to do, and it's made blowing off the, the lawn so much easier. Sarah saw, I was just driving back and forth. Um, we also got the Husqvarna backpack blower, so Sarah's going to have that on her back. I'm going to be driving this, and we're going to blow off these leaves. One, two, three, no problem. So uh, I'm going to grab the camera and show you what I did here to modify this, to hook it up to the hitch um, just quick, and yeah, we'll get going. I'll start blowing. So basically all I did here was um, I took a drawbar attachment for a tractor and I got two U-bolts, you can kind of see, and I went around the handle like frame of the blower itself. And then I got a piece of, you know, square tubing just from Home Depot, a couple more U-bolts, mounted that up to uh, fit the top link thing here. And voila, just like that, I have a tractor mounted blower and it actually works really well. I can lift it up and drop it down based on, uh, you know, the hills and the contours in the lawn. Um, much cheaper alternative versus a $3,000 PTO powered blower. Um, granted, not as powerful, but still gets the job done. I think it's gonna be a game changer here come this fall once all these trees start dropping their leaves. Sarah's getting suited up here with the Husqvarna. And you can see there's not a ton of leaves down, but they're pretty much just falling out of these two maple trees. So we're gonna blow these off. That way we can aerate with the AgriFab Toe Behind Aerator. Just picked up some bags of tube sand to act as a little extra weight. And we're gonna blow the leaves over this way.
and I thought it meant stop, so I hit it. Well, that's that's good gut intuition there. I feel like that was a much tougher workout than you. Probably. My my right arm. There should be a thing where you can move that to the left, so you can. Oh, to the left side. Yeah, so you can get yeah. exercise on both sides. Most of them are just on the right. I'm gonna have right. a jacked arm on this side. Yeah, I can already see your muscles bulging side. there. Yeah. Yeah. Spaghetti arms over here. Well, now I feel like I got my workout in. Yeah, you that was good. It. I did not. I did not. But, um, yeah, I think that was good. You haven't really... Well, you helped me blow leaves in the spring, I guess. See how much but quicker it goes with two people? With two people, yeah. Because this thing, the backpack's great to get around the trees and all the little areas. And then the tractor with that is good to, like, push the majority of the stuff. So, good teamwork. And for those of you wondering, Sarah was wearing earplugs. Show them to them. Yep. All the safety sallies out there. I wouldn't let her use a blower without earplugs. Um, all right, so now What's the next? next thing we're gonna do is we're going to aerate the lawn. So that's what more does that of, mean? So we're gonna we got the plug aerator, the thing that I assembled the other day, and that essentially pokes holes in the grass and it breaks up the compaction of the soil and allows more air to aerate the soil for deeper root penetration. And then all the little holes all over, we're gonna seed over that so that when the seeds go down into it, they have a better chance to start and grow. So we're gonna hook up the ATV because the tractor, I did it the other day just testing it out. The tractor was a little too big um, and it's so heavy that I feel like once it runs back over the holes, it's just gonna clog them back up. So we're gonna use the ATV, I think, to do that. And then we can seed. Sounds like a plan. All right, guys, we got the old Sportsman 500 fired up. She's purring like a kitten. Hasn't been fired up in probably about a month. Um, I take it out every now and then. But uh, I got the hitch on to accept the pin for the aerator. So we're gonna head up to the back behind the house um, and grab the aerator. And then we'll throw on the tube sand, which is in the back of the truck. So uh, here we go. Okay guys, so this is my new, I think it's AgriFab Lawn Aerator. And it recommends that you put some weight on it to help penetrate down into the subsoil. So I got these two 60 pound things of tube sand here. And we're gonna give it a try. See how it does. Um, I believe the thing said it's rated for 140 pounds, so we're just shy of that, which I think will be good. The other day I was trying out with some cinder blocks, but they were kind of bouncing all over. Um, so I drilled some holes in the side here to fit my ratchet strap, but then I was thinking that the tube sand would kind of just lay in there and kind of acquiesce to the area. Um, so I don't even know if I need to really strap these down. The only thing is, is the center needs to be left open to move this down into the down position. So before we get started, I'm just gonna pull these off to the side, drop it down once we're on the lawn, and then we should be good to go. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it does. It's a plug aerator, 48 inches wide. I picked it up at Tractor Supply. Um, I've never really aerated lawns before, so I've been told that it would be good, especially for lawns that haven't been well taken care of. They're really compacted and stuff. So hopefully this will help break everything up and help all the seed. I think we spent like about $300 worth of seed. So hopefully that seed will take. All right, so now we're gonna drop it down that we're on the lawn and it raises up the wheels, as you can see. So now it's purely just sitting on the spikes. position my stand, kind of like that, I guess. I don't know that it's really going to go anywhere. I also don't know that this strap is going to do much, but let's put it on just for the hell of it. I think we're good to go. So Sarah has been kind enough to volunteer to film a little bit while uh, I drive. Now this first part right here is uh, really compacted. It used to be a road. 
um, we'll still kind of use it as a road. So I don't know how well it's going to do here. Um, my goal is to have nicer grass here, but this isn't my main concern. I'd like to really try and get the rest of the lawn looking good. So let's see how we do. guys well it seems to be working uh here's a couple plugs that i'm pulling out here's another here's more my sand is kind of falling off so we need to adjust this a little bit okay guys so we just drove around the lawn about a million times with the atv actually i'm very surprised at how the atv ran been having a little carburetor trouble, but it seemed to work itself out. Um, AgriFab 48 inch pull behind de plug aerator. I almost said dethatcher. Um, worked really good. I think I could use more weight on it. I know it said it was a maximum weight capacity of like 140 pounds, but I don't really see what more weight would do to harm it. Um, I'm not saying like 500 pounds or something, but I think I could probably get away with a third uh, bag of tube sand. So I might do that next time, maybe in the spring. But uh, all in all, I drove around a bunch and I mean, you can see here there's, you know, plugs and holes kind of all over the place. Um, it definitely aerated it and i mean i was told the more you drive over the lawn the better the results so i just kept driving and driving and driving um i did the front and the back you can even kind of see how the lawn looks like roughed up a little bit um so hopefully it'll do the trick it'll provide holes for the grass seed to get down into um it was, it was, it just seemed to be really compacted, especially in certain spots. So even the big, I know the ATV probably isn't the most ideal tool to be towing this thing around with because of the big lugs on the tires. I mean, my, my tires are pretty aggressive. They're like pretty much a, a mud tire, a little bit of all terrain on there, but, um, a lawn tractor would probably be the ideal tool to, to tow one of these things around with just so it doesn't tear it up. But I actually think that the big lugs on the ATV kind of loosen everything up as well because um, everything seemed to be pretty compacted. Up here, it almost didn't like do anything because this is so, I mean, there's a couple little holes and stuff, but this is just really compacted, but that's fine. I mean, there's enough grass here where it's green. Um, so yeah, I did the front and back. Now we're going to spread some seed. So I got this Earthway Even Spread spreader here. I actually found it at the dump of all places where I find a lot of my tools and stuff. Um, works pretty well. The adjustment works. Um, all I had to do was lube up some of the, uh, you know, hinge points and stuff. 
So I'm gonna throw some air in the tires because I actually haven't used this thing yet, but uh, we'll put some air in the tires. And then we got, eh, we're not gonna put 10W30 on the one, but I got grass seed, contractor mix. And then uh, for the front, I got the Scott's Turf Builder fall lawn food. Um, if you guys have any suggestions or you guys are really into grass and stuff, let me know what I should be putting down at this time. Um, I did a little research quickly on the internet and it seemed like this stuff was good and was safe to put down um, while seeding, over seeding for new seed. I know you can't put down like weed killer and stuff like that because it'll kill the germination of the seed. So this stuff seemed to be recommended. So we're gonna put down this stuff. I only got enough for the front um, because with that giant oak tree in the back there, I don't think the lawn is ever gonna be like top notch back there. So we'll put down as much of this as we can in the front and maybe in this kind of area here too, as you walk up to the front door. Alright guys, well we got the lawn seeded. We went through 40 pounds of seed. Um, Sarah watched me seed it the whole time. Uh, we got some pretty good coverage. Uh, hopefully we'll get rain. They're calling for rain Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So hopefully the birds don't eat all the seed by then. But right now we're in the truck. I changed, cleaned up a little bit. Sarah, where are we going? We're going to the Newtown Arts Festival. There, I guess there's a craft fair going on with live music and food trucks. So we're going to go check it out. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. It's about 75 degrees, a nice breeze out, not a cloud in the sky. You can really start to feel uh, fall encroaching here in uh, New England. So we're going to take advantage of the beautiful day and check out some local events. We'll check back in later when we get home and we got a little bit more to do to finish up the lawn.